The purpose of this lecture is to help, to understand, and how to use a rebar cutting machine. It introduces, various part of the machine, and how to use it effectively, and safely. The mechanical bar cutting machine is useful for cutting rebar of various diameters, at a desired length. The purpose is to increase productivity, speed, and safety in the bar cutting task, and decrease labor costs. The important functional parts are Jig locator It supports bars before cutting. The bars are placed on the rod guide plate. While cutting multiple bars, the jig locator helps in placing the bars exactly, one above the other, ensuring full utilization of the cutting edge of the blade. Safety plate It prevents the bar from flying after cutting the bar. Always use safety plate while cutting bars. Guide rollers These are two rollers, on the sides of the machine. It support the bars for measurements, and handling. Rod guide plate The plate is made of hard steel, and is a guide way for the bars. It helps in sliding the bars towards the blade. Guard cover for machine It protects the flywheel, V-belt, and pulley. Flywheels It helps machine makes less noise and reduce vibrations bearings and bushes it prevents bearing from dirt dust or any possible contamination maintain proper oil flow and thus lubrication of the machine transportation of machine use a mini crane to load the machine onto the tempo and transport it to one side to another site the machine is provided with a lifting plate, along with eye bolts for lifting the machine with cranes, or similar devices. It has four wheels for moving, from one place to another, at the construction site. Capacity Chart Before cutting, the operator should review the chart before, cutting the bars. Overloading of the machine should be prevented, to maintain machine in good condition. Table showing the technical specification of the machine, have limit of cutting bar up to, 32 mm diameter. Building concrete foundation. We recommend building a concrete foundation, where the machine is to be installed. This ensures, that machine does not move, while it is in operation. The concrete surface can easily bear the weight of the machine. A shed for the machine, and workers will help in better productivity. Entry chairs are brackets, made by bending the bars available at the site. They help to rest the bars, and guide it, making the cutting operation quite easy. This ensures, that the bars do not bend, while they are measured, and at the time of cutting. The entry chairs are placed on the opposite side of the hand lever. Similarly, exit chair help keep the bars on it, after cutting, making it easier for bundling and dispatching for the construction purpose. The chairs should be positioned, lower than the cutting height of the machine, and is placed on same side of hand lever. An earth three phase connected with a 2.5 square millimeters, four core copper flexible cable, to a 380 volts, to 415 volts or 50 hertz AC connection. Installation of machine. To start the machine, Connect it to an earth three-phase, 415 volts connection, turn on the MCB, and check the direction of rotation of the motor, and flywheel is towards the arrow marked on the machine. If the rotation is not in the direction of arrow, change the phase sequence and check again. Keep the machine switched on for 5 minutes to check the running of motor, 